Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a Fortnite Android installer drama. It seems like only a few days have gone by and I already have another story that involves Fortnite and Epic Games that's related to information security. But this time things don't look so great for Epic Games. By the way, you might remember last week where I talked about how they had a contest for a free Fortnite emote that people could only get if they enabled two-factor authentication, which again I think is a great thing. But this week, Epic Games had a security faux pas. Let's start at the beginning. Recently, Epic Games just released Fortnite for the Android platform. However, typically things on the Android platform are released on Google's official store called the Google Play Store. That said, when you release something on the Google Play Store, Google gets 30% of it. And apparently Epic Games didn't love this, so they had a big drama talking about how uh, they'd see if they could create a new Android release platform that had nothing to do with Google Play. Long story short, they released their Android installer outside the Google Play Marketplace, which of course means you have to enable loading from unknown sources on your Android device. Well, it seems Google didn't love this idea either because immediately one of their security researchers found a vulnerability in this installer app. Basically, the installer app downloads the APK file and runs it, and it's pretty trivial for a, an attacker to replace the legitimate APK file with another file as long as it has the same name. That's the only check that's done, and then that other file gets run and installed with the proper permissions. So essentially, using this installer, a bad Bad guy can run any code he wants on your Android device with increased permissions. In any case, Google told Epic about this and Epic quickly fixed it. But apparently Epic also asked Google to honor their 90-day disclosure policy and not disclose this vulnerability for 90 days, uh, apparently kind of to give customers time to patch. But of course Google disclosed it pretty quickly and Google pointed out that, uh, by the way, that 90-day disclosure policy is our max Maximum, if someone fixes a flaw, we can disclose it as soon as the fix is out there. Anyways, I think there's a lot of sides to this issue. On one hand, it's kind of embarrassing that Epic Games is not releasing stuff on the official Google Play Store because it kind of trains users to turn on the unnamed sources option, which can be very dangerous. One of the most common ways you get malware on your Android device is by loading third-party software sources that could be dangerous. So I actually think it's better to get software directly from Google Play. That said, it is kind of unfortunate that Google does take a percentage, and it's unfortunate that this business conflict, around 30% of the cut, is turning into this information security drama, which really shouldn't be happening. On one hand, Epic released a bad installer. On the other hand, they fixed it very quickly. On the other hand, Google's not super clean in this either. They do have a 90-day disclosure policy. Yes, if people fix things, they can disclose quicker than 90 days, but it's typically nice to at least give a week or a couple weeks to make sure customers out there have uh, downloaded the proper version or gotten the right patch. So both these big companies seem to be acting kind of silly about this. Anyways, if there's any practical takeaway, it's if you're one of the people downloading this Android version of Fortnite, make sure to get the latest version so that you don't have this vulnerability. On top of that, I really do try to avoid uh, loading applications from unknown sources. Unless you're a pro user, this could be dangerous in general. It'd be interesting to see if this drama goes forward anymore. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.